because I know some of you see, you know, the good times and you may think that, you know, we have it all together. So, well, we don't. No. Morning, guys. This is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice to be glad in it, and so can you. I've got JJ Heller's Your Hands playing in the background because I'm wearing my Heaven Stand sweatshirt. Um, but I just want to show you guys. I don't think I'm, the camera's going to be able to capture it, but okay, I'm going to try to open my eye. I don't have my glasses on yet. Um, but uh, so yesterday it was in the high 60s, or at least in the 60s yesterday. I know the whole country is having up and down weather right now, but look out the window and a little bit ago it looked like a complete sheet of white. Now it's slowed down some. I can still see the flurry with my eyes. I don't know if the camera will catch them, but I wanted to try to get them on camera to see if you all... Let's find a good area if you're able to see the... No, you can't really see it with the camera. They're little teeny tiny flurries. So it's like... Just enough snow to make things a little gross outside as far as like the ground and everything. Like all that. By the way, we're repainting our porch. We uh, we need to do a prime, or rather Roger. I say we, but it's Roger. Um, but just wanted to say good morning. And since the course is on right now, we'll say when my world is shaking, heaven stands. When my heart is breaking, I never leave your hands. So, shout out to JJ for today. And by the way, the sweatshirt, JJ, if you ever see this, which you probably won't, but it's super comfy. Hey guys, I am here with mom. I just ran my first antibiotic for the day and took my first oral one. We are getting ready to run the Zofran, which is why I'm holding my port here. Uh, getting ready to be hooked up as mom primes the Zofran. Because IV Zofran has been my BFF with this nausea. It's, it's real. Um... And the headache, the pain behind my eyes with the antibiotic is very real. I'm just hoping and praying that I don't have hallucinations like I had a couple nights ago. And I didn't mention those on, on yesterday's vlog, but it's, um, they were, they were scary. They were scary. That's all I'll say for now. Like, I was seeing evil people in the room trying to get me. And I was seeing, like, demon faces in the air. And a lot of neurological stuff was getting really bad the other night with my Herx, so... It's an adventure, that's for sure. There's the dog again. I gotta show you guys something exciting. I'm gonna show Roger too, because I just noticed that I hadn't shown him yet. It's the first time I've done it successfully. Can you guess what it is? I have no idea what you're even talking about. Okay. This little thing right here. This little thing right here. Not this what? little thing. Little thing beside. Oh, you didn't chamber. let it run through. It didn't go through the line. Okay, so guys, Yay. we use these little red caps. Uh, um, when I would do my IVs in the morning, we use these little red caps to keep the line sterile, so we can only use one set of tubing for the medicate for the um, antibiotic medication of the day. Yeah, it saves about a buck slash a buck fifty five, depending on where you get it per day of treatment. So it's about what like thirty bucks a month, I think it saved total. So you know, works great for that. But the thing is, when you prime it, when you prime the line, you can't get air bubbles in it. So like, since this is a gravity pump, and there's not like like my feed, my feeds run through this. It's automatic. We don't have to keep an eye on it. It'll look giving us an alarm, but this won't give us an alarm when it runs out. So it's just hanging on the pole. So if we don't keep an eye on it, which we never had, this is the first time we've got it when it was in the chamber. It'll get through like all the way down here in the line somewhere, and then we'll have to end up priming. And it just makes priming a big ordeal. And um, then you get air bubbles you don't want, and you waste some medicine. And and neither one of those things is any good. So, oh, my flush just started. Fun fact, feeding tube flushes, even if they're going into your jejunum, can still trigger a reflux because of, because of the speed at which they go in. Anyway, what I was saying, whenever I have I on it and actually catch it when the medicine is still in the chamber, because, um, and that's when you're supposed to try to catch it because if it's still there, then when we prime the next bag, okay, the tubing is already primed. We just have to spike the bag it's already primed and ready to go. It's the same medication on the same day within that 24-hour period. Since we've kept the end sterile, we're able to do that. But it's the first time that we successfully caught it with the medicine in the chamber and not already like running through the line where we had to deal with a bunch of extra stuff. So 
that's going to save us like no joke an extra five minutes because dealing with bubbles and getting those lines primed can take several minutes per line per time if not more if, if you have some problems so um yeah sorry i just noticed that as roger and i were in here talking i wanted to grab the grab the camera and tell him as i told y'all hi my name is becca from the youtube show lime is lame this is my partner roger and we go across the country help <laughs> sorry i was trying to do a riff on the catfish intro you gotta you gotta prepare me for these kind of things <laughs> no, sorry yeah i totally didn't tell him but that's in case you couldn't guess what we're getting ready to do we're getting ready to watch some catfish mm. um this guy's home he's got uh no basketball tonight no or for the rest of the season it's gone so i have him home and we're gonna watch some catfish and enjoy time together and i'll tell you guys i'm not gonna get into details and stuff right now because i don't want to get emotional or anything but it got pretty pretty emotional earlier uh i don't know just things were rough and i i didn't have the camera on you know because we were talking and working through it and um i just wanted you all to know you know there are rough times. I know some of you see, you know, the good times and you may think that, you know, we have it all together. So, well, we don't. No. Not at all. Um, I mean, so we do some. We have some of it together. I mean, <laughs> but we definitely don't have it all together. Um, and uh, I don't think anyone does. And that's kind of life. But right now, to enjoy the dysfunction that is lying. We're going to enjoy gonna other cat people's dysfunction. <laughs> yes, on Catfish. Uh, I just wanted to check in with you all because we're in, well, I'm in better spirits now. Roger was having to kind of be my consoler earlier. Are you in better spirits now? I am better because I'm getting ready to have pepperoni roll. Mm -hmm. And I am testing my chemical slash, no, don't stick it in my face. It's hard <laughs> enough. That it's, it's hard enough that it's that far away, but um, I'm trying to challenge some of my food smell sensitivities just to make life easier if I'm able to get through them. You know, I I, I may have to put my mask on in a little while, but if I do, that's what it is. Good, Especially since he's got too. salsa. Um, but I'm really trying to work through some of those if, I, if I'm able, even though the chemicals are still like a major thing, because I want to be able to enjoy more meals with Roger and he really can't eat like anything warm or anything that has a strong smell with me unless I have a mask on. Reenactment time. No, it's never it's never as good when you reenact. It's never as good, no. But I want them to know what you do all the time to me. The face you make me make. <laughs> and then say... Is it this one? <laughs> no, it's not that one. So what were we talking about? Um, how much I do for you. We were not talking about that. Oh, I said... <laughs> I said... We watched an episode of Catfish, and we're pretty sure the verdict was based on shallow and appearance-based um, factors. And I said, well, it's no wonder the world is obsessed with being thin. And Roger said... Is it? And I went... No, see, it's not the same. It's not, I can't do it's the not face, it. apparently. No. So there's a face I do, no. apparently... Every time he says something, like, I can't, well, if you would have said it without me trying to prompt you, and you said, okay, let's try to do it, let's try to do it just organically. Oh, this is no. so organic. <laughs> Shut we're, up. We're, we're acting now. Okay, we're going to pretend that it's organic, though. Okay. It's no wonder the world's obsessed with being thin. Is it? I can't do it with a smiley now. I told Crap. You. Okay, I can't do now it on look, camera. So but, he, but then he said, oh, hold on. After I make a face, he said, there's that face. I sometimes have to do things just to make you make that face. Gotta get my jollies my somehow. Uh, no, it's not. Stop. You can't. You can't. It's like that time you did that impression and you can't. You can't keep. You, do it again. You can never do it again. No. Sure. But uh, so you're thinking, okay, well, the base would show. Like, yeah, sure. That's that's like that's like any episode of Catfish. They meet him, they're like, oh, nope, they're an uggo, so nothing else matters. <laughs> But this guy, they made you so sympathetic toward. Yep. They're like, oh my gosh, this guy is like, you know, yeah. he had all these things going against him. He seemed like he was just happy to have a companion. Mm -hmm. And then he meets her and the story's not changed. He knows no. that she's fake. She told him that the pictures are fake. And he meets her and he's like, nah. okay, I'm done. Yeah, I'm out of so, here. And to note, she was... Um, not as small as the girl in the pictures significantly that she had sent him. And 
I hate to say it, but... but she was pretty and she, she was, was a sweet girl. She was and beautiful and her personality was the exact same. Everything was there. Yeah. I'm not, you know, catfishing yeah. is not an excuse, but she wasn't like a mean cat, but she had even admitted to it. She's nervous. So she was really nervous and I just, I don't know. Yep. That's the world, I don't know the bad taste in my mouth. Yeah, it, it wasn't... I think we might need to watch another one to get over that one. I guess so. You know, they say there's nothing, nothing... That helps you get over a bad relationship, like the next relationship. Okay, next bad relationship. And there's next nothing that helps finish. you get past a bad episode, like the next episode. There you go. Yes. All right, so that's what we're gonna do after we had cold pack refill. Just got no. Oh. <laughs> That's my infusing dance. That's my infusing dance. That's my infusing dance. Hooked up to my second antibiotic for the day. I need to remind, which reminds me, I need to take my oral one. Um, I'm hooked up to the IV right now. I know the Herxine is getting ready to start, so I'm getting Woo! my dance out of the way first. Infusion dance, yeah. Infusion dance, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I just feel like being a little goofy tonight because I feel like that's good for life. Especially if you've had an emotional day. This yeah, is there you go. Oh. This is not a dance. <laughs> you can do that. You can have. do that one. And, okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, uh, dance. It's mine. Fuse and dance. Let me out. Let me out. This is not a dance. <laughs> Sorry. This is my infusion dance. Infusion dance. This infusion is my dance. catfish dance. Or it's, like, it's like LA Grease. Holy story. Infusion dance. Infusion dance. Yeah. Uh, infusion dance. Infusion dance. All right. We're going to watch another episode of Catfish. This way. This yes, way. Yes, this way. Lean in. Yes, there you go. See, look, we're right in the frame. We're in the frame. Um, anyway, guys, we are getting ready to hit the hay. Getting ready to do all our nighttime stuff. Take my nighttime meds, the rest of them. And uh, Roger's going to do his nighttime stuff. Brush our teeth and all that jazz. And... Get some sleep. We're finished with my second IV and oral antibiotic and second IV Zofran of the day. So the Zofran came in clutch as always because the nausea is real. So I know the Zofran is going to kick in fully in about 10 15 minutes. Um, so yeah, back at the vlogging for now. But hopefully, tomorrow we will actually do the unboxing. We're really trying to get that done for tomorrow. So hopefully, after this, that's what you're going to see. For now, we will say good night. Good night.